Hello and welcome to my show conversation with Priya. I'm your host Priya Mishra and today is our very special guest and very close friend of mine is Srinath Birol. So Srinath has been developing his skill through his experience throughout the time and his experience actually makes him in a different position and where he stands today. So Srinath specializes in education marketing, entrepreneurship program development, and advertising startups. He learned this from many individuals, organization, and not to forget to acquire his learning from many countries he visited during his career journey. Being this entrepreneur, he developed deep knowledge in designing entrepreneurship development program and keenly observed entrepreneur failure management skills. How does innovation are designed at grassroots level? Srinath have been researching entrepreneurship success, measuring and trying to net how it can be converted to an achievable goals. He is working very closely to the young entrepreneurs and it's his passion to support that community. All these he started acquiring from those contracts who are in geographic like Australia, India, China, Thailand, Korea, region, Europe, US. Many years of careful learning has made him to be more passionate in advertising and bringing value to what one intended to do, especially with younger generation. His quest to learn more is growing unknowingly and have been meeting nice, interesting and passionate people throughout the journey. So help me to welcome Srinath. Hi, Srinath. Thank you for joining in my show, Conversation with Priya. And I was so looking forward to listen to your story. And I've been hearing a lot. We have been known for a while now. So it's a very, very interesting journey I have he been hearing. Would you like to uh, brief your uh, whole journey and uh, where you started and where you are today um, for our audience to know? Uh, thanks, Priya. It's a very exciting to connect with you and, you know, uh, be in this uh, interview. And uh, as you said, yes, uh, we have been known each other, but uh, still, I never thought that, you know, we'll come to this uh, point that, you know, you will be interviewing with me and asking one of the uh, uh, questions, those which is very much uh, today what's happening around us. Uh, thank you very much once again. And uh, my journey, I uh, started way long back, uh, two decades you know, ago, uh, in uh, Birla Group, actually, in fact, yeah. uh, the company Birla Group, and started in uh, computer line only, you know, in the yeah. areas of the computer. Those days, uh, we used to see different computers, definitely. Yeah. I know I worked with the uh, DECVAX and uh, the GCM, uh, those machines, very, very uh, older machines. And yeah. so my starter, I started my journey from there, actually moved to Bangalore. I, I was in that small town there and moved uh, to Bangalore and uh, worked in a bank for some time, you know, developing those banking automation those days, very long back. Mm -hmm. So that gave me one of the additional fuel uh, in my experience. Then moved to the marketing area, yeah. worked with a couple of uh, corporates and uh, uh, been on the uh, sales for a long time. Right. Uh, right. Then moved across to uh, uh, education domain. Okay, yeah. Even though I started my career actually in my education domain, but uh, later at part uh, when I was uh, moving upwards, I started moving more on the education domain actually. So my uh, my, my uh, evolve and my involvement was uh, more on the education domain. So I started working with some uh, universities, uh, you know, one as in a faculty, uh, visiting faculty. So right. I used to do, uh, I used to deliver those uh, MBA programs in some of the universities, mm -hmm. institutions. Uh, parallelly, I used to uh, engage uh, in a small uh, entrepreneurs and the startup entrepreneurs and these those areas because that passioned me a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these two were growing more actually and then uh, equally contributing to my journey, both in the education one and the entrepreneurship. Uh, slowly, I moved up and then uh, started working with uh, promoting TAFE products in India and a couple of countries. And, uh, you know, got much familiar in the skill education. Again, in the right. education domain, but moved to the skill education. Uh, got familiar with that. I worked with some of uh, good corporates in India and outside India also. Mm. And then, uh, but by knowingly or unknowingly, my entrepreneurship journey was growing in terms of, you know, and my entrepreneurship journey means my journey with the entrepreneurs, right. with the startups right. was growing, you know, very solidly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then one day I decided that, uh, in fact, uh, when I when everyone realized 
that India is also moving towards a startup ecosystem, the funding, the innovation management, because you know that cycle was coming. So straight away, I jumped uh, uh, towards that e ecosystem, uh, you know, because that got uh, passion, more passion created within me. And right. become very curious, actually, you know, how these entrepreneurs build their journey, how yeah. the innovation yeah. uh, management can happen. And India was moving towards those innovation. You know, you, uh, India was almost called for many years as a service-based country, but we wanted to make it a lot of product-based, the innovation products, innovation services. So that actually made me more uh, gel towards that startup ecosystem, the entrepreneurship ecosystem, and then that innovation ecosystem. So I started moving uh you know uh, towards that so i started talking to many in the many programs small small programs and as a speaker in uh, those areas but for, but for me the foundation was built through a couple of chambers actually you know uh, the indian chamber like asucham and fkccr because i associated with them as a co-chairman for almost uh, five six years and got developed that network i know developed with the institutions and the people all that happened yeah, yeah so yeah. putting all these things in one basket uh, i realized that now actually this is the uh, right time uh, to move on that so i started uh, my path uh, in uh, you know mentoring this early stage growth startups right. Right. that's where my journey started in terms of the uh, ecosystem of that entrepreneurship startup and investments yeah. innovation management yeah. So slowly, I built up uh, nurturing a couple of uh, startups. Then uh, slowly, uh, you know, started uh, uh, building uh, entrepreneurs pool, you know, and uh, started myself uh, moving around them. So which made me to learn a lot of things. What they want to learn was missing. Right. So I started right. giving back to them uh, uh, with my experience and expertise. I learned and uh, started uh, pulling also a good network people so that you know we all give back to them that system. Yeah. So this whole journey made me to be in the startup ecosystem, entrepreneur ecosystem and the investment ecosystem. So today I'm very happy to say that, you know, I uh, I work with a couple of good startups. I started uh, evaluating uh, startups actually on the funding side. Right. I work with very good uh, investors across uh, globe, you know, either it could be from US or Europe and India uh, and uh, work with uh, global startups. Right. Uh, and uh, parallelly, I was building that, you know, I uh, run programs across the entrepreneurs. Right. So I did a couple of cohort programs, the Thai chapter. I'm a Thai chapter member, you know, TIE Thai chapter member. Right. So a couple of cohort programs. I was also part of the Taikan program, which is a very prestigious uh, e event, uh, which Thai uh, executes every year. Then uh, slowly moved across attending, uh, you know, I'm like participating in the investors forum. Hmm. And then uh, talking to investors, bringing them to the startup ecosystem platform and uh, making uh, un, uh, work, talking to entrepreneurs to understand how the investment works, right. how the journey of the product development. Yeah, I have seen like your um, overall journey and I know you have been helping a lot of people through innovate, you know, innovation is a stage you are very much innovative area and you always choose that kind of a project you have been i mean not always like you have been majority your focus is innovation and you are a big believer of bringing the new talent into the market how you think those innovation companies are actually getting supported by this your ecosystem uh, to see today, uh, uh, most of the corporates, either it could be small uh, corporate or the large corporate or the mid-size, they have realized yeah. that you know the innovation is one of their uh, uh, in their ecosystem as an it, it has become their ingredient now. Mm -hmm. So uh, innovation breakthroughs, they have started uh, looking at uh, in the path, uh, either it could be in the product development or on the services side. Right. So, in the, so the contribution actually from the uh, larger perspective of these entrepreneurs, the young minds, has become more uh, important today for these corporates and the companies. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, uh, we look at from last year's the pandemic time actually till now. There is yeah. so many healthcare innovations have come. There yeah. is so much of the healthcare products have been come out actually. All this through innovation breakthrough only. Yeah. So. Yeah. Innovation has contributed actually uh, in terms of the product development in the faster way and uh, the innovation breakthroughs in terms of, you know, those uh, entrepreneurs thinking fast and quick yeah. and, uh, and support from uh, investors or the uh, breakthrough technologies 
and uh, scientists and all that has happened. So all this has been as a very inclusive uh, growth. Yeah. You know, a country like for a country like India, and India has shown uh, solid examples to the world that how quickly they have come through that brea. You know, uh, that uh, nurturing entrepreneurs, nurturing startups, developing products. Uh, if you look at the, when the COVID started in the last year, uh, January, February, March, in those initial days, by the period of June, August month last 2020, India had breakthrough with that vaccine. Actually, you know, we never thought that uh, you know India will uh, manufacture that vaccines uh, vaccines in next six months or three months like that. Yeah, yeah. But it, yeah. It, it's a good actually uh, that India came out. So, if you look at it, the bottom, that that means there is an innovation breakthrough. Entrepreneurs yeah. coming up, you know, uh, you know, moving up ladder actually, and contributing to the you know, societal impact, creating that so you know uh, that impact that uh, India is not losing to the world, yeah. and uh, uh, you know, young minds, especially these young minds, they have become very faster today. Yeah. They have become yeah. uh, more uh, quicker in their uh, thought process. Yeah. So all these things, I think, is contributing uh, with respect to uh, innovation management. Uh, the investment management. So these two things has made our ecosystem very strong today. Right. Uh, if you look at uh, definitely 2019 mid, uh, we had, uh, hope I'm right, uh, one or one, two, uh, probably there were unicorns. Yeah. Uh, 2021, at least we have some eight, 10 unicorns. So that means in the last 20, 24 months, India has produced a great unicorns. I uh, And uh, these days, in the last couple of months, uh, Good organizations like Paytm and a couple of them have started looking at, you know, in uh, uh, IPOs and above billion, you know, 1 billion, 2 billion IPOs. So that means India is growing. Mm -hmm. India, is a develop India is definitely moving upwards, actually. But uh, but still, it takes time. But uh, we are in this journey. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. We are yeah. in this great and journey. Amazing to see the growth and the talent and, and yes. the utilization of talent and the exposure of the talent. Not only hard work, is hard work is also coming a lot. Correct. And given the scenario, India in Inc. was always very famous. Like we produce, yes. India in Inc. was actually producing a lot of revenue for country economy. But this kind of innovation and bringing that unicorns out, I'm, I'm sure they are a long way to go. But it is it's still a good start, and we can see yes, we are definitely. in the global market. Definitely, and that is very interesting aspect actually bringing. And also, when I mean, I remember two decades ago there was no much of an incubator concept, you know. Correct. But Correct. now I can see that the, the opportunity is unlimited in India, and thanks to the government Absolutely. and all the body, you know, education. Yes. System, Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything improved Absolutely. in the last two decades. Yes. So that brings, and also finding the investors was also not easy in a country like India. They were more funded by the family of friends. You know? Correct, correct. But now that venture capitalists are coming and supporting the pro project and pitching, uh, pitched by the youth, and they are actually helping them, choosing them, and, you know, in an in a international and national market. How do you see this kind of a support is going to make uh, can you can you see this is this gonna be a more faster growth in next coming decades? Yeah, definitely. I can uh, uh, you know advocate that you know there will be a faster growth uh, when uh, when as you as you uh, rightly asked when you rightly mentioned that uh, if you go back to a couple of uh, two decades back and uh, uh, look there was no investments. Uh, yeah. There was no, I, of course, in the investments in terms of this ecosystem. Actually, there was no yeah. investments. Uh, we never uh, we never uh, look at that there was an angel investor there was a syndicate investors there was a vcs there was a hni investors no nothing like that yeah. but uh, now if you look at actually this this platform has improved a lot yeah. this platform yeah. has contributed a lot to the country and the ecosystem right. you know more vcs are looking at uh, india uh, more uh, vcs have contributed to india in the, this couple of at least in the last 5 6 years uh, more angel investors have you know given birth actually you know there were no, there was no concept like an angel investor yeah. of course there was angel investors entrepreneurs for a long time but uh, we never knew yeah so it it was was thanks to the thanks to the media media houses thanks to the company like you who have been you know uh, making more visible these days uh, you know participating in uh, uh, and asking uh, many questions and many interviews and uh, making people to um, okay. uh, 
Yeah, okay. And uh, talk more actually in terms of these areas. So completely I agree now that India is evolving around this uh, platform of investors, the VC, the angel, the syndicate, and the H&I. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, even today, if you look at those uh, investments in the small amount also is coming to the startup today, you know, for example, uh, uh, a small amount of 10 lakhs or 25 lakhs, INR, the Indian, yeah. Indian amount. Yeah. So that way, uh, the platform has created, it's become a platform, plus this has become a platter now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you click on the platter, you get all kinds of uh, uh, investors. You look at uh, startups, you look at the uh, innovations, you look at the star in entrepreneurs. This has become a platter now. It's like you know your menu. Yeah, yeah, very much. It's like your menu. Yeah, I, I now everybody is starting uh, holding that menu, and I can pick now with whom I can talk. And one beauty which has changed. Uh, one beauty now it's getting changed. You know. Uh, the relationship between uh, the entrepreneurs and the investors are become closer now. Earlier, yeah. it was very difficult to access. You know, how yeah. do I access an investor? How do I talk? Uh, we used to go to two, three channels and you know get influenced and then introduced and meet the investors. Now that uh, relationship has become very closer. Yeah. They're able, you know, startups have been access to investors. But one of the uh, big difference also, India is looking for the last three, four years. I have seen. Uh, corporate investment has increased. Right. Yeah. As you mentioned, yeah. as you mentioned, that incubator concept has increased largely. Mm. Corporates are contributing, uh, in fact, for their own solutions or for the societal uh, solutions. That is one area which is add to the platform. Yeah. I definitely yeah. agree with this. And I, I've been interviewing a couple of people from India recently, and I noticed that uh, social impact is coming, I mean, the enterprises coming from that angle and bringing that kind of a product, product and solutions in the market and it's changing the complete face value of Indian corporate corporation. Also, I have interviewed recently um, an IBM guy and uh, he's IBM head level, CSR head, and his corporate social responsibility is actually kind of an enforced it's a soft enforced by the government that if you have a certain threshold of income, then you have to, in, you know, contribute to the CSR activities. Amazing change we can see. And people are working towards it happily. It's not that government force, that's why we have to do it. They're happily contributing. And the startups are actually getting more inclusive. Earlier, they were when, if, if there was a, you know, this kind of a capitalism was there and the investors were always available, but they were very much for the larger solution. They're always going by the succeeding solutions rather than actually something brand new innovation, right? So the risk taking ability was lower, I believe. What do you Correct. think? You are absolutely right. Uh, the area, the CSR, corporate social responsibility, if you look at uh, at least uh, a decade back, uh, India was very low actually in the corporate social responsibility. Yeah. And uh, government has, uh, uh, government put a mandate and made corporate to realize that how do we improve ourselves? Yeah. Where, how do we make our growth very strong? Yeah. And how that means that society has to be improved. So the government decision is, I appreciate really that uh, you know, they made this corporate actually to realize mm. that they contribute uh, so much in there from the CSR to the society. Right. So it's a good move actually by the government and good acceptance by corporate also. A small percentage of these uh, in their profit, they allocate themselves to be in the CSR. Yeah. So CSR has made a significant uh, change actually in the government. They, it, it was like an, a change maker. The CSR mm. product was a change maker. Uh, second thing, uh, a lot of corporates moved across because it. Uh, the other side of that, uh, government gave them a lot of benefits in the tax. Right. So the contribution uh, in the angle of the CSR was a superb actually. Yeah. And uh, most of the corporate uh, uh, made a good impact in the society right. uh, by having the CSR budget and uh, improved a lot of, uh, uh, in terms of women empowerment, the child uh, programs, yeah. Uh, the hygiene and the sanitation side. And if you look at the education part and the skill part, yeah. you know, that yeah. is, uh, that there is a lot of improvement. Mm. Of course, the more improvement and uh, uh, has to come, but still there is a significant improvement, significant growth, and mm. a visible growth is there from the CSR angle. Yeah. 
I yeah. definitely say I have been involved with couple of NGOs. You know the way the work around the CSR funding and CSR involvement. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, for an inclusive growth and for an inclusive development, I think mm-hmm. uh, the more the corporate comes closer and closer and do, uh, definitely there will be a lot of things uh, you can yeah. see yeah. Uh, improvement. But uh, one last point I can say in the last twenty months during this pandemic period, uh, the CSR contribution is amazing. Yeah, especially yeah. in the healthcare and the services, and uh, around the around the healthcare system, around the services system of the healthcare, right. and around the uh, other things. If you look at uh, CSR, has become very very important today. Right, uh, definitely. And it's especially just the, the overall society India. thinking as well. You know, yes, yes, absolutely. More corporate and business were, uh, owners were treated more like a, like they you know they are there only for money making. You know, but now. Yes, well no, it's not there. It's not there, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's changed Definitely. the paradigm of thinking and mindset of the general public. Absolutely. Everything what we do today, it's just the mindset. Nothing. Mm. Mm. If mm. that is great, anything can happen and everything can happen. Yeah. I mean, we as a corporality also invest like 1% of our income goes to the CSR activity. So that's... Uh, oh, that's... Uh, no, that's that's nice actually, and uh, you know by the great initiative you have taken up, Priya. Uh, uh, you know through your corporality uh, corporality banding, that's a nice. Uh, uh, hope you know sometime I would also like to join in your CSR initiatives. Sure, sure, and uh, you know, and I always believe that you don't have to be a giant company for that. You know, it, yes. every little bit makes. It's a- only the mindset. Yeah. If if your mindset is bigger, actually, uh, anything you can do. Yeah, maybe my contribution will be lower than the bigger giants, but at least I have that mindset that one person should go to the... <laughs> yeah, <side>. definitely. <laughs> so yes. having said that, I would like to shift the angle from India to the other part of the world. And I know you are interested to open up in Australia. Um, and you have already footprints here. You have been actively participating on the different activities and that some clients base and all that. You are you want to be more actively looking here and having your office here now. So that having said that, you are going to be very specific towards the civil engineering and education, or you are also bringing the other part of your business. And in civil engineering, how people can be you know coming towards you and utilizing your services. Uh, yeah, definitely. Australia is a great uh, country and a very, very uh, important country in terms of uh, the business, in terms of the relationship in growing, uh, you know, the relationship between the countries. Because I've been a lot of, I have got a lot of experience uh, being in the Australia, worked with uh, different Australian companies and the government organizations and the people also. So our uh, shifting actually and the focusing towards Australia has been a very important domain, education domain, education yeah. space. Because that's the area which we have been working very deeply and uh, we have uh, solid experience around the education domain. And uh, that's where we would like to contribute uh, what we have uh, experience of knowledge and gain that expertise back to the Australian uh, country also and uh, make that, uh, you know, that uh, education system very robust and uh, dynamic. Yeah. So uh, Australia is very important to us, uh, definitely. Uh, Australia is also a very uh, great contributor in terms of the education space because uh, Australia has got a good education system. That's yeah. why if you look at the migration of the students, uh, either from China, or from India and Asia, yeah. in three, okay. if you look at the, these three uh, proposition, uh, there is a huge uh, migration happens you know, from these three uh, locations. So Australia is a very important for us in terms of the education. Australia is uh, very important for us to uh, focus on those civil services area where we would like to work with the uh, government institutions and government uh, uh, programs. And uh, definitely, uh, even though Australia is a smaller place, I mean, like in the smaller in terms of the geographically, Hmm. but still uh, for us, it's important. And the other area which uh, I would like to be more uh, eager to talk is I have been very passionate and been talking with the younger minds, you know, nurturing them on the startup journey, the innovation journey, and the incubation journey. Right. I've been uh, very active in that space. I've been, I've been uh, talking to a lot of young minds. They have been uh, very progressively contributing to the, you know, their thinking process and they're bringing out innovations. Uh, they have been very steady in that, actually, you know, better than uh, some of the adult entrepreneurs. 
So Australia is also moving towards that actually in terms of, you know, how do we engage uh, these two countries and these two young minds and make uh, a solid platform, you know, in exchange of the innovations, exchange of entrepreneurship, exchange of those incubation program learning. There is so many things actually we can learn in that. So these are the two areas. One is on the deep education domain space. We are looking at yeah. that Australia is a very important location geographically. Mm -hmm. And uh, working with the, some of the anger minds between these two countries uh, around that startup and the innovation management side uh, definitely uh, holds good to me uh, yes. for everyone otherwise. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that. Very interesting. Oh, I'm very, very excited, happy. You know, yes. uh, because it's my home country and I'm here right now. So I yeah. you guys coming here. But at the same time, I have also seen your amazing work towards, you know, other part of the world like US and, you know, uh, even uh, Peru, um, different European countries. Do you want to explain how that whole other part of the world you started, where, where your expansion plan is started? Uh, not really. Uh, no, we have uh, uh, more contribution in the European uh, market, uh, but a very low contribution in the US because we haven't really pitched in there, even though we have some good connections and the network we have built. Uh, but European market, uh, especially where we have been strongly working with the investors and the startups and the uh, entrepreneurs ecosystem, uh, we are working with a couple of uh, organizations, which I cannot uh, disclose the name now, okay. but still, uh, these are great artificial intelligence based organizations and uh, solid contributions in the ecosystem of that innovation management. Right. So we are uh, working with them very, very closely and, uh, you know, uh, building a strategy where uh, their knowledge and their expertise, we want to bring them to India. Mm. So Europe is one area we are looking because, again, it's in a vast location and uh, superb uh, uh, country in terms of having those uh, system yeah. of uh, uh, these innovations and startups. So definitely we are looking that area also. Uh, otherwise, uh, the more... At, uh, uh, the investment the ecosystem, if I look at UAE, is one area which we are looking. You know, right. to, we are talking to a couple of investors there. But uh, Europe, uh, part of the Asia, a couple of locations, yeah. Australia, yeah. these are our main uh, focus area. Yeah, very interesting. So I know you are involved very closely, coming back to hometown, your home country, and that you are involved in a couple of startup committees and all and with through ANGA and other other ventures. How do you see the progress and the future in that? Yeah, definitely there is a lot of progress. Uh, Priya, uh, I have been involved uh, uh, with the uh, chamber called ANZIBC, Australia, New Zealand, India Business uh, chamber, a uh, very upcoming uh, chamber today. Uh, I, I'm, I'm proud to say that uh, uh, the chamber uh, management decided that to give me a role as chairman for the startup committee. Right. So uh, that made me to be more, uh, you know, look at how we can, uh, uh, you know, make this platform very strong. Mm -hmm. You know, since uh, the name of the chamber is ANZIBC, Australia, New Zealand, India Business Chamber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want to strengthen our relationship between this Australia, Singapore, India, and UAE. Right. Uh, develop a solid platform for startups and the investors, a platform actually. Mm. And create a uh, you know environment where um, simply any of these in the, within this country, startup want to access an investor of a, uh, the other country. It becomes easy. Just come to the platform and access and talk to them. So we're trying to build that platform. So it's very important that in our home country, in my country, this kind of chamber play an active role in integrating these uh, ecosystems between different countries and bring them here. Right. So one is actually we'll contribute a lot to our home country. Second, we also do a cross-country culture development, the cross-country relationship development, cross-country business actually it happens. Right. So my, country, my, my look actually is that uh, we need to have a universal platform yeah. And then develop uh, so that, uh, you know, everybody is in the same platform and uh, everybody grow. And that's an inclusive growth again. Yeah. Uh, the rest, absolutely not looking at that's in a solo kind of growth. Absolutely no. Yeah. So definitely the organizations like this NZIBC chamber or any other, any, any yeah. forums in the bodies, absolutely is important to a country like India. 
Right. And I have seen you, like I have heard you many times and you are very much inclusive, collaborative, you know, you always encourage people to go more of a, you know, more channel partnership, you know, strategic partnership, which is very amazing. And I've seen you have helped a lot of people as well in through that approach and through that vision. That is bringing to my last question. How are you going to support if anybody wants to be contacting you or looking for any kind of a support or mentoring from you? How they can reach out to you? How, uh, what is the, your help procedures? I'm always happy, I, I know, uh, working with uh, people who come and ask me, uh, how do we uh, work with you or how do we associate and uh, what do we do? So I'm very, always happy, uh, uh, you know, I'll share my contact details to you. You can always uh, put it across to the uh, you know, people. But uh, definitely I'll be more passionate with uh, working with the younger startups, younger minds and uh, making them to uh, look at that, uh, I mean to say, I want these younger minds and younger startups to create more aspiration. You know, they want they have to go outside now. Yeah, you know, they have to yeah. go outside actually. So, yeah, definitely build in your own market the strength, but still go outside. So, yeah. I'll be very uh, happy, always happy that you know talk to these people and make them uh, scale up. Uh, look at those global aspirations, which is very important today. Yeah, and at the same time, not to forget that they should build their uh, strengths actually in their root. Right. So uh, definitely, my uh, I'm very happy to share that. Always, uh, they can contact me for uh, you know any time. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm always happy back to give my knowledge and expertise what I have gained. So there is a, uh, no no thing in that I should keep myself and uh, keep uh, everything with me. I want to share definitely. Yeah. So my 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 funda is that uh, share and grow. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So uh, as you know, corporality is all about going global, going growth. You know, we always talk about gro gro growth revenue models and, you know, intended and maturation models. That's our, you know, and we have been discussing about it. So audience, watch out our space. We might be initiating any youth programs in Australia and um, India and collaboration uh, platform you will be seeing soon from uh, Srinath. And of course, co collaboration is a, a key here. So yes. Everybody should succeed together and it's it's a better way. These days, you know, Gandhi used to say, I always repeat it, global village. We live in a global village and we are going to embrace it. And this pandemic make us actually do it more, right? Yes. I thought that I've been sitting here on the Zoom and taking your interview like this, sitting you in, in India, right? And it is still feels very close. So thank you yes. so much for joining in, Sri. And then it's a very amazing discussion all, always. In, and I, I'm sure there are a lot of value add. Your description will be given below. And if you guys haven't subscribed, like, comment yet, so please start doing it. And we'll be bringing new, new stories to you. Any last a minute uh, you want to say something to audience, Srina? Yeah, well, thanks, Priya. It was a great uh, interview and very excited actually, you know, talk to you and, uh, you know, share my uh, thoughts and the knowledge and uh, and how I have been uh, developed myself and uh, I, I am following up uh, your a lot of programs and those uh, you know the uh, interviews and I think you have been doing amazing job and uh, definitely you are building that bridge between uh, uh, countries and yeah. so that you know the people know. are knowing uh, in fact what other people are doing so you are definitely doing an amazing uh, uh, job and your organization has got a great uh, you know, thinking that uh, doing such programs uh, makes uh, sense to others and audience also. My last, uh, my my one last advice to audience is actually whoever it is, whether it's in the startup side or whether it's in the skill or education domain, look at actually how you've been in the global village as Priya you told, and how do you create a, a platform which is very universal and a unique. And uh, collaboration is the key today. Those days of the being independent and doing anything is gone. I mean, like it's slowly fading away. Collaboration and the collective delivery is one of the key area. Come, let us work collaboratively and uh, deliver collectively and make this world happy and you know make meaningful. More, more inclusive. Yes. Thank you. So absolutely uh, excited, absolutely happy, Priya. Uh, thanks for this great uh, interview. 
and uh, i look forward actually in the coming days to have more and more interview with you uh, which makes uh, sense to me sure sure looking forward to that as well getting more story thank you so much for joining in today yeah thank you so much priya and have a nice day be safe and be happy bye for now thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it and like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done it to know more about us visit www.corporality.global and also you can find more about priya mishra is on priya.sydney